I'm gonna go over a pet peeve of mine today, which is over tightening the dipstick on a Cessna 172. So here's our oil dipstick. And then this right here, this dark part is our dipstick tube. The dipstick tube is plastic, which hooks into the metal engine case down at the base here. Okay, so notice the, the tube is plastic, case is metal. Now, if you over tighten this, you're cranking this plastic tube tighter into the metal and potentially breaking it down the road. So notice mine has a little bit of play and that's because it's been over tightened in the past, which has loosened up this safety wire because it's eaten into the bottom of the plastic notch right there. Okay, so I'm gonna fix that today, but I just wanna give you a quick demo while I've got this opened up. So to loosen up the dipstick and to check it, the oil, we're just going counterclockwise. Okay, and then we're gonna lift it up. We'd read what we have on here quart-wise. So in the 172, we want eight quarts um, for maximum, six for minimum. I actually am draining the oil now, so that's why there's no oil on the stick. The main thing to note here is notice this rubber um, O-ring. This rubber O-ring is what helps seal it, and that's why we don't have to go super tight. Okay, so we're gonna put it back on clockwise to tighten it and just finger tight so a child should be able to get it off. That's all it needs. Okay, that way you don't over tighten the plastic tube and you don't tighten it harder into the, the metal case and break it. I'm now gonna remove the plastic dipstick tube. If you look down towards the base of the engine, you can see that I've cut the safety wire and now it's just gonna twist out counterclockwise. Once this, I get this out, I'm gonna let you take a look at the threads at the bottom and just remember this entire tube is plastic. So this is just used as a reminder of why not to over tighten because this will break against the metal case of the engine. Okay, you can see the dipstick out of it and I'm gonna zoom in for the threads.